Last chapter we focused about implementation of linked list, how they are implied perfectly in JavaScript and how we fetch the values associated to linked list. This chapter is a focus about the second type of the linked list. Last chapter was understanding regarding the singular type of linked list where we have only one side of motion that is starting from beginning till the end. But you can't get it to the reverse end. So the same applies over here in doubly linked list where you can do both kinds of operations. So let's understand what's the difference between both of them. Although transversing a linked list from first node to last node is straightforward when it comes to singular linked list, it is not an easy task to transverse a linked list backward, save for backward operation. We can simplify this procedure, a kind of a process, if we add a property to our node class that stores a link to the previous node. See, every time we create a node which is associated to the next node and so on, but there is nothing related to the previous node. But this, if we add it for now, then it will create a new concept known as doubly linked list. When we insert a node into a list, we'll have to perform more operations to assign the proper links for the next and the previous nodes. But we gain efficiency when we have to remove a node from the list and since we no longer have to search for the previous node. So doubly linked list includes that functionality where both the operations is quite easy, like forward and backward. Here, head is assigned to the uh, node, which is with the element, say, name A, and it has a next node. But every previous node is given to some other node. So my previous node will be associated to the last node, which is the null node. Now, once the previous node for C will be B, and the previous node for B will be A. So it is like moving forward and moving backward is quite easy with the help of doubly linked list kind of functionality. Doubly linked list includes some kind of terminologies which are like first one is the link. So link is nothing but the same one like in linked list. A link of a linked list can store a data called as an element. And after that comes the next tag. So this next tag is associated to the next element. So each link of a linked list contains a link to the next link, which is called as the next. And after that comes the previous. So this is the new concept which is in introduced for doubly linked list. So each link of a linked list contains a link to the previous link, which is called as previous. So here there are certain features for doubly linked list. That is doubly linked list contains a link element called as the first and last. So this is my first and the last element. Each link carries a data field and the link field called as the next. And each link with its next link is used to point out with the next link. Each link with the previous link is used to point out the previous link. The last link carries a link which is associated to mark a null which marks as the end of the list. So if I say for element A, so this is my element A and I want to calculate what is the previous element, then that previous element will move on to the end of the list because this is the first element in linked list. So there is no previous element associated to it. So it will say it is the end of the linked list, which means that it will follow both the operations of moving forward as well as moving backward. So there are basic operations associated with doubly linked list also, which is called as insertion, deletion, insert last, delete last. So insertion adds an element at the beginning of the list. Deletion deletes an element at the beginning of the list. Insert last adds an element at the end of the list. Delete last deletes the element from the end of the list and so on. Let's move to our code base. We will understand over here the basic functionality of doubly linked list in a very better picture and scenario. So there first we'll create a JS file, .js file with all the logic associated to the doubly linked list and then we'll create a linked list and manipulate with JavaScript examples and check our output in our browser. So now we'll create a new file. Okay, so this file will be saved inside my linked list folder. And the name of the file will be doubly, it's a double link list, so I'll say doubly link list dot js. So I have saved this file. After this, I'm going to create a function associated to doubly link list. So I'll say function, the name would be doubly link list. It would be the double link list. And it will have the values like this format so it will be let 
node equal to function and it will call for the element and inside element it will say this dot element so my element will be initialized over here as this dot element equal to element after that i will say this dot next equal to pull and after this i'll say this dot previous equal to so this one will be uh, say for the null value and after that i'll say previous element will be also assigned with the null value so the next and the previous pointers will be given as null value point to be noted over here the previous element kind of the concept is new when it comes to doubly linked list because linked list do not have any kind of the support of assigning the previous pointer then after that comes my parameter after specifying this node functionality i have two parameters say let length equal to 0 and let head equal to null after that let tail equal to null okay so head and tail parameters are given even this parameter is set to be new because this is not assigned in the simple kind of linked list singular linked list pattern then i will call for the function that is the append function so i'll say appending means adding at the last so this dot append so this will be my function this dot append equal to function and i'll say it as element and inside element i'll call for the other parameter so that will be this dot element equal to element after that this dot next so this is for the next parameter of the linked list so i'm initializing all these parameters over here then comes this dot previous now you have get to know the, like it's clear what the idea for doubly linked list because everywhere we have the association with respect to next node and the previous node after specifying the append parameter with these parameters or if it is not needed also you can keep it as a comment part because we have already declared these parameters over here for better programming practices it is always better to keep it in a single section after this like you can initialize them if you will not initialize it it's fine but it's important to be initialized over here in the node section then comes the part that is let node equal to new node okay so i'll declare this node with the element parameter and then i'll say current which means that i'm moving to the current path so i'll say element and the current parameter with the comma separated values so my element will be the current parameter but i can check with the condition like if my head points to the null value so i'll give two values equal equal to null then i will say that if my first node is pointing as null first node on list is pointing as null because head always refers to the first node so here i'll say head equal to node and tail equal to node it means my head and tail will be on the same node so this was the if condition after that if you want to attach to the tail node that is attaching to the previous node in such a scenario i'll mention the comment over here attach to the tail node okay so this is also another new concept here i will again say the similar kind of formality like tail dot next equal to node and then i'll say node dot previous equal to tail and after that i'll say tail equal to node and then i'll specify the parameter length plus plus so this would be update size of the list after specifying this parameter inside my node condition okay so this was my append section 
where I appended the values over here. So this was the append values which I have done. After this, the next section comes is the new function which is actually associated with removing a value. Or before removing, I would say, I would call for the insert function. So that will be this dot insert. So we have always the basic operations. Now I have appended the value. Now the next thing is to insert it. So insertion in linked list always happens in the beginning. So I'll say insert with the position. I'm passing the parameters as position and element. Okay. After this, I'll say the next thing would be to check out the bound out limits. Like if I want to check the linked list has some values or it has crossed that particular limit. So that is checking out the bound of out of bound limits, you can say. So I'll just check that check out of bound limits. And after that, I'll say if position is greater than or equal to zero this position is mentioned as greater than or equal to zero and so i'll give and as to emphasize position is less than or equal to length if it happens in such a way that your position which you want to enter is less than or equal to length and the position is greater than zero. In such a scenario, I will say let node equal to new node. Inside that, I'll specify the element. So I'll say element. And after that, I'll call for the next attributes. So my next attributes will be current equal to head comma previous will be null value or we can say we'll just specify as a blank value after this comes index as zero so i have specified with all the attributes now i need to add on to the first position so my first position will be if position is equal equal to zero so i'll say if position if position is equal equal to zero so it verifies the parameter also. So here I would say if not equal to head, then in such a scenario, it will say head equal to node and tail equal to node. If I get that it is not equal to the head parameter, then my node will be either in the tail mode or in the head mode because we are using both the kinds of operations over here that is passing forward as well as backward. Now I have given this if tag. After this, I'll specify the else tag. So else will have node.next equal to current. And after that, it will say current dot previous equal to node. And I'll also say, I have specified for the previous node, so I'll also say that head is equal to node. This is the parameter. So this is the conditions which is given with the if condition. There is also else if. So here I would like to say for else if, else if I see the position in some other parameter, if I see position is equal equal to length parameter, then I will see for the last item. So the last item will be entered in this format that current equal to tail because everything I'm associating with the previous node as well as the current node. So I'll say current equal to tail and current dot next equal to node current dot previous equal to current and after that, I'll say tail equal to node. Okay. So I specified with this conditions. Now after that comes the next logic is for removal. So this we will check for in the next chapter about the more implementation with doubly. 
link list. Now we have created a JSON file. In the next chapter, we'll create one more file and the HTML file and we'll call for this doubly link list and we'll check the manipulation in our browser. So let's move on to our next chapter, which will be a deep dive inside the doubly link list section.